Hey, what's up, coach? I want to break down the three most popular mistakes that I see that coaches make when they're trying to market themselves on Instagram. And if this video helps you, please subscribe to the channel so you can stay updated with the newest videos that I post about marketing, sales. If you have a local training business, this channel is for you. Okay, the number one marketing mistake that I see that most coaches make is if someone comments on your video or they comment on your photo or they like something, I can assure you if you're watching this, you're not following up with them. You're not sending them a DM and you're kind of just like waiting and you're waiting for them to do something. You're waiting for them to come to you instead of going to them. So if someone has any level of engagement with you, you need to message them and spark a conversation to get them over to an application call, which is a sales call, right? That is something I know most coaches in this industry are not doing. And if you start doing that, I think you'll use Instagram as a tool to get more clients and to drive more sales conversations versus just waiting. And I know a lot of coaches that have 50K to 100K followers that don't do what I'm talking about. And I know some people that have between like 500 followers and 1,000 followers that do that. And I promise you, the guys that have 500 followers to 1,000 followers <clears throat> that actually do what I'm talking about, they're making way more money than the ones who have 50K followers to 100,000 followers. I can promise you that. I see it every day. All right, that's number one. Number two is when you run a camp or a clinic, if you just post an online flyer and that's it, like if you go to your Instagram, you upload the flyer, and if that's all you do, if that's all you rely on, like could you get people to sign up? Yes. But can you do that for a long period of time? No, because you're only just posting one thing. And the thing is, the, the coaches that I work with, when I look at camps and clinics, doing an online flyer, that should be like 5% of the marketing. All right, but you'll need to post that multiple times. You, you can't just like post one thing and that, that be it. You have to really market yourself, not just on Instagram, but outside of it. So that could be texting parents, that could be calling parents, that could be sending multiple emails and creating more urgency. That could be uh, getting referrals for the clinic. There's so many other things outside of just posting one little flyer that can help you grow your business, especially with camps and clinics. And I see it happen all the time too with when coaches, when they talk about like their training program and they'll just post flyers. That is not going to work because it blends in with what everybody else is doing, all right? And if you don't believe me, go look at the other coaches on Instagram and watch what they're doing. Everybody's doing this sort of stuff, all right? Last, it is doing a, it's creating a piece of content with zero call to action, all right? This is something like if you watch my YouTube channel, I do this in every video. I will always say, hey, if you want more help with your business, shoot me a text and I put my number, all right? At this point, thousands of people across the world have my phone number. <laughs> and uh, I have spoken to so many coaches because I have a clear call to action. A lot of coaches though, when they post things, they don't do that. They just post the video or post the photo and that's it. Now, if you have a clear call to action, then you can move people who see something off of Instagram and get them back into your ecosystem where now they're paying attention to what you're doing or they're filling out a form or they're texting you or they're calling you, whatever it is that, that you wanna do, we need to move them off the platform, all right? <clears throat> now, if you move them off the platform, now you have more control of marketing because right now, if you're on Instagram and you post something, you're competing against like all the people who spend money on ads, you're competing against Beyonce, all the popular superstars, and they, you're competing against every single person that these parents are following, all right? So if you keep them on the platform, that is not good. You need to move them off the platform as quickly as possible, and you do that by giving a clear call to action, all right? Those are the three mistakes that I see. If you fix those things, you can use Instagram and, and Facebook and social media as a tool as a weapon in your business where you can get way more clients than you could ever think of. So if you want more business strategies like this, make sure and do two things. Number one, hit the subscribe button. Number two, text me. I'm free to take a 15 to 20 minute Zoom call with you. I'd love to learn more about you and your business. All you have to do in order to do that is go to the first link in the description right below this video and you can get set up there. That's it. See you later.